Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I want to tell you about our roadside farm stand. So this weekend we set up our first roadside farm stand and I'm excited to show you guys all the details. Technically, this is a temporary farm stand for us because I actually bought a run-in that we're going to use going forward as soon as we get the run-in delivered. It was supposed to be here this last week, however, it was delayed. But our garden right now is producing so much that we really couldn't wait to get a roadside farm stand together. So we put one together and I'm gonna show you how we did it. First, we wanted to have an outdoor farm stand last summer. So we purchased a table, a workbench table from Menards that we have purchased before for other projects. We used it in our outdoor kitchen and I have it as a potting bench out in the garden. We thought that table would make a perfect roadside farm stand table too. So we bought it last summer, we assembled it, and then we added a roof. I feel like it's really important to have a roof on any kind of roadside farm stand you're going to use because you want the vegetables to stay shaded. And then we actually wanted to put flowers in the farm stand. So it was really important once you pick those, even once you get them in water, to have those a little bit shaded too, especially in the heat of the summer. It has been so humid here. I just wanted to give everything a little break from the heat and the sun. So we added a roof with some extra roofing that we had from our barn project that we did a couple years ago and put it out by the road and it was so top heavy that it kept falling over again and again every time we had a little bit of wind. We weighed it down, we tried to put it in a different spot and it just kept falling over. So this year, that's why we decided to purchase the run-in because we needed something more stable, we needed something heavier, we needed something still with a roof. And then we figured if it didn't work out as a roadside farm stand, we could always use it for our animals, we could use it to store some hay. There's plenty of other things we can use that for if this, for some reason, doesn't work. But I'm hoping this works out for us. So fast forward to this summer, we have a garden that is producing like crazy again, and we really needed to get a roadside farm stand up. So I purchased the run-in from the Amish group that we have worked with before about, now it's about four weeks ago. It was supposed to be here last week. However, they were running about a week to two weeks behind. And I really needed something now because the garden isn't gonna wait for them. And like I said, we've purchased from them before. The donkeys have one of these run-ins out in kind of their pasture area, so they have some extra shelter out there, and we really liked it. The only thing I wanted to do was to add a floor. So once that comes in, I will show you guys what it looks like. I'll show you how we set it up. Some of it is still to be determined, so we'll have to kind of see when it gets here. But in the meantime, and this weekend, we've had so much produce that we wanted to put something out by the road and see if we can sell it to some people. So we used that same table that we had purchased last summer. We took off the roof, Kevin made it a little more stable, and we pulled it on out by the road. We actually put it up right next to our fence on our property where it comes kind of, it turns onto our driveway. And then we just piled it high with all of our vegetables, with some flowers, with, I don't think we had any fruit out there this weekend, but we do have some fruit that we're gonna be able to sell this coming weekend probably and um, it looked beautiful. I'm really proud of it. I really love the way it turned out, and I hope that it serves as some kind of inspiration for you guys too. The only thing we ended up doing once we removed the roof was we added an umbrella to this space. So I had an umbrella that I used for our stone garden bed area, which I made last summer, and I will put a link in the description to it below for you guys. It is a YouTube video and it's a blog post and I purchased this umbrella for it. So we took that umbrella and we put it over the roadside table and put it out there. And I think it turned out really beautiful. What do you guys think?
So what do you guys think? Does it work? Does it inspire you to make one of your own if you have the space and your township allows you to do it? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to see more details on the roadside farm stand, you can also click the link in the description below to the blog post at sugarmaplefarmhouse.com. Thank you guys so much for following along today. If you've not subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button so you can follow along with everything we're doing here at Sugar Maple Farmhouse. And thank you guys so much again for following along in this video today. See you soon.